Just stepped outside. We still have a few very fine snowflakes falling through the sky here in downtown Indianapolis. Tough to see there on the Weather Now camera network, but uh, what you do see, the flag is flying. It yeah. is breezy. It, it is, is very cold. windy out there. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and that's all driving those changes. This is one of those events. It's proof that it doesn't take a lot of snow, a lot of rain to cause us some problems out there on the road. So let's go ahead and show you how things are wrapping up with the system for us. And you can see just a little bit of snow, that one band that is south of Indianapolis at this point, with still some steady snow that's coming down. And it stretches from around Rushville through Shelbyville, now moving just south of Franklin through Johnson County. And as we extend back through northern Brown County into Bloomington, good little burst of snow, but that won't last too long as it continues to move to the southeast and kind of fade away as it does so. There's snow moving out of Richmond. One more little batch here, one more little hurrah moving into Hagerstown, but we're not going to be seeing much of any additional accumulation from anything out there. We talked about the winds. They are coming in out of the northeast around 15 to 20 miles per hour and may gust around 30 through the overnight. That's also dragging in that colder air that's allowing everything to freeze on the roadways and especially those elevated and untreated surfaces. 27 fours now in Bloomington. It's 25 in Lafayette. We've dropped all the way to 20 in Muncie and temperatures overnight will fall a few more degrees around 19 in Muncie and Indianapolis, 18 in Lafayette, 24 in Bloomington to start off your Monday. But it will be again a dry start to the day. We'll have a few clouds around, a little bit of sunshine, but mostly cloudy skies will win out as temperatures climb around 30 degrees. So we'll fall shy of the average high for this time of year that's in the mid 30s. Cloudy evening at 7 o'clock, and we may even have a couple of snow showers around at that point. Your high on Monday, 33 in Columbus, just 28 in Lafayette, and 26 for you in Muncie. Mention those snow chances. This is 5 o'clock Monday evening, and just in time for the evening rush hour around Lafayette and Crawfordsville. We may have a few of those snow showers and then this quick moving disturbance by 730. See some light snow shower activity from Indianapolis and the western half of the state. So as you travel on I-70 between Indy and Terre Haute, could be a little slick tomorrow evening down toward Bloomington and Nashville, also seeing some of that snow. Then it moves out pretty quick as we head toward the midnight hour. I think that might be a little quick on getting that out of here, but a dusting to maybe a half an inch can't be ruled out as we go into Monday evening and early Tuesday morning. Throughout the day on Tuesday, then temperatures try to rebound a little bit. We'll get into the low 30s by noon, mostly cloudy for the afternoon and 34 degrees. We're kind of going to see some ups and downs here in temperatures. 37 on Wednesday. We make it into the 40s on Thursday, but it's a one day event. We're back to 34 for the high temperature on Friday. So as you may guess, there's a uh, front that's going to be moving through central Indiana, and that'll bring some more rain chances for us. Here's your seven-day planning forecast, and you see that things are pretty quiet the first half of the week outside of that chance for a few evening snow showers tomorrow, then a 40% chance of rain on Thursday at 42, 34 on Friday and next weekend. Chance for a little bit of snow as we kick things off, and temperatures for highs in the 30s. Okay, very good, but all in all, it looks like a fairly decent week. Fairly typical of January, yeah. early February. Okay, Kyle, thank you.